Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Grady Tech and in this video I am going to share with you some tips and tricks and hidden features related to Chromebook. So guys, I made two parts of the same video so do check out the other part, I'll leave a link to that part in the description area below this video. So guys, let's get started. Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Grady Tech and this is the tips and tricks video for Google Chromebook. So guys, in front of us we have the Google Chromebook and once you have simply configured it or once you have logged into your Google account on this Chromebook and powered it on, it will look something like this. And this is currently a lock screen. Now over here we have few options like on the left side corner of the screen you can shut it down. Next we have option to sign in as a guest and third you can add a new person or a new account to this Chromebook. On the right we have some basic information like time, Wi-Fi connectivity, battery status and the current language. So let me just sign in by entering my Google account password and we can sign in even when the Chromebook is offline. So that means you can use this Chromebook even offline. So let me just enter my Google password. So this is how the Chromebook looks once you sign in and at the bottom we have something called as a shelf which is similar to the taskbar on Windows. On the left side corner of the screen we have this search icon which is very similar to that of start button in windows and we have app icons or web application shortcuts over here so as you have seen as soon as i've signed in the google chrome browser has been open let me just minimize that and this is the desktop and we can put shortcuts from the file manager over here so this is how the keyboard of the chromebook looks if you are coming from windows you might find some things missing for example you don't you no longer have function keys instead of those function keys you have some direct shortcuts which are very useful while browsing if you want to revert back to the function keys you can even do that by changing a small setting i'll show you that in the later part of the video so you might find few things missing for example the start button is missing and instead of a caps lock we have a search button on the chromebook so firstly let me show you the current version of the chromebook for that let's go to chrome Enter settings. In settings, select about Chrome OS. So this is the information we have. This is the Chrome OS version. And if we want to change the version of OS, that is currently out of the box, the Chromebook comes with a stable version of Chrome OS. If you want to change that, you need to click this button, more info and over here you have an option that says change channel select that and from here you can either choose beta or developers which is unstable but you'll get the most recent updates and latest tweaks so you can change this from here let's start off with the desktop let me just minimize this so this is what is called as a desktop on windows i don't know what it is called in Chromebook. So anyway, if we do a right click, we have these three options. First is auto hide the shelf. The shelf is the taskbar of Windows. So this is the shelf. If I choose to auto hide, it will simply hide. There you see. If I go down, if I minimize the browser, again I can see the shelf. Next we can change the position of this shelf from bottom to left or right. Let me show you that. Apart from that, you have the third option that is to change the wallpaper. So these are all the wallpapers from the web. So you can change the wallpaper by just clicking on the image, it will then start downloading the image and after it is downloaded, it will apply as a wallpaper. If you want the wallpaper to be changed dynamically, you need to click this option that says surprise me and it will randomly change your wallpaper. So going on next, so there is something called as a barrel roll, for that you need to press R, Control shift and reload button and the current screen rotates. So on Chromebook to take a screenshot all you need to do is simply press Ctrl F5 
So as we don't have function keys, it means the fifth key on the top. So we just took a screenshot. All the screenshots will be stored in the download section. So if you simply click on the file, it will open it in an image viewer. And now if you press E, it will directly take you to the edit mode. If you need to snip a part of the screen, you need to press Ctrl Shift and the fifth key on the function keys. Then you can see a small plus button over here. Simply click and drag to take a snapshot. So this is a part of the desktop. So guys, now to lock your Chromebook, you can press the power button once for at least one second. And there you have it, the device is locked. And to unlock it, you need to again enter your password. So apart from pressing the power button, you can press Ctrl Shift and L to lock the screen. Let me just do that. So now the device is locked once again. So to access your files on the Chromebook, you need a file manager. And to open the file manager, we can do it in two ways. One is by pressing this search button on the left corner of the screen and search for file. So here we have it. So this is our file manager. There is also a very easy shortcut that is Alt Shift and M. So if you press Alt Shift and M at the same time, it will open the file manager. Just like in Windows, these applications open up in Windows. So to minimize them or to resize these applications, you can use, you can press Alt plus or minus. So if you press Alt minus, it will simply shrink in size or completely minimize. Let's do the same for the Chrome browser. So it has minimized. Currently the Google Keep application is in shrink mode. So to enlarge it, we can press Alt plus and to shrink it again, you can press Alt minus and minimize it. And if you press Alt minus once again, it will be minimized. On the bottom left corner of the screen, you have an image that is your profile image. If you click on it, you'll get some additional options. So let's check out the Wi-Fi. It is showing that currently we are connected to a Wi-Fi router called Slayer. Simply click on that. And if you press this button I, it will give you your IP address and MAC address. Next, if we want to rotate our screen, we need to press Ctrl Shift and Rotate button. So now the screen is rotated 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees and finally 360. So in this way we can rotate the screen as well as change the orientation of the screen. So let's open up the file manager once again. For that let's press Alt Shift and M. So once you are here you can press Ctrl 1 to jump to Google Drive and Ctrl 2 to jump to Downloads. So currently we are in download section and to go to Google Drive all I need to do is press Ctrl 1. And now to go to downloads, I need to press Ctrl 2. Over here in the file manager, if I want to create a new folder, I can press Ctrl E and a new folder is created. I can give it any name and press enter to set it as a name of the folder. To rename a file or a folder, simply select the file and press Ctrl enter and then you can rename the file to anything you want. If your Chromebook has a backlit keyboard, then to change the brightness of the backlit keyboard, you can press Alt and the brightness buttons. Next, we have something called as an overview mode in Chromebook. And to access that, we can simply use three fingers and swipe up and swipe down. And we get this nice overview of all the windows that are currently open in the Chromebook. Now we can simply select the window to open it up. So all you need to do is simply swipe down using three fingers on the mouse pad. So it is that simple. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.